On this cruise, we're very interested in how microorganisms actually respond to a volcanic eruption. So what happens is, is that as a volcano erupts and then goes quiet again and then builds up for the next eruption, the microbes respond because they're dependent upon the gases and the minerals that are coming out of the volcano. After a volcanic eruption, there's what we call a bloom, a large explosion of growth of microbes around these, these hydrothermal vents in the volcano. So hydrothermal vents are a nice place where we have a window into the sub seafloor where we can see what the microbes are doing. The connection between chemistry and microbiology is really strong. I mean, there's so much life inside of this environment that you normally think of as hostile and, you know, poisonous. So understanding how that, that life thrives in, in this kind of environment is, is fascinating. Well, we have several goals this time out. Number one is to continue that time series. It started back in 1997 tracking how the chemistry of hydrothermal fluids change, how the microbial communities change. And uh, number two is sort of a microbiology, chemistry, and technology project. We built a, a, a new instrument, it's an incubator. So the idea is to run an experiment on the seafloor under high pressure. We use these same bags and same syringes to collect our fluids. We pull the water in and then we immediately incubate it at high temperatures. We can incubate all the way up to say 80 degrees centigrade. And then we can stop our experiment come back up to the surface and we collect a separate fluid, the exact same fluid, bring that up to the surface and then we do the same experiment on board the ship. So now we've done the same experiment on the seafloor and up on the ship. And then we can compare the results and see, is what we're doing on the ship or what we're doing on land really representative of the organisms or are we missing something by not doing the experiments under high pressure? We're just basically trying to figure out if um, experiments on the seafloor can help us understand our results that we're getting in the laboratory on, on the ships and on shore. And then we can use that when we try to model the chemistry of the oceans and how microbes living in hydrothermal vents might be changing the local chemistry as well as the chemistry of the deep ocean. That's why we're scientists, is that you know we get to wonder about things and go out and try to find the answers. What excites me about this work is the chance for discovery and the chance for exploration to really see how the world works. Thank you.